Hello everybody uh, In this video I will show to you this battery So in basic this battery is some zinc chlorine battery Which means that on the negative electrode is some zinc on the positive electrode is some chlorine uh, And it's really really awesome battery tech uh, Because with this cell I get the energy density over 100 milliwatt hours so the runtime with this cell was uh, around two hours and the active uh, surface is three centimeters by three centimeters uh, so you see that i use also some housing for this cell uh, this is because uh, uh, this battery forms some chlorine and chlorine is a little bit dangerous That's why I pack everything together in this housing So in basic this housing is not finished uh, Because to finish it uh, I also need some ceiling between each plate so the housing is made from uh, three plexi uh, plexi plates and yeah i don't use any ceiling on this one so to uh, make a finish cell i need to seal each plate but uh, because i just try if this battery can work uh, that's why i make the cell like so and i put the entire cell into the electrolyte if you play with this kind of battery, it's important that you have some, some protection uh, housing. Uh, not like this, because like I said, I need to seal each section. Uh, but you need to protect yourself from chlorine gas. So the idea which I get to make this cell is uh, when I make this uh, salt water supercapacitor. So if you have some interest how I make this uh, salt water supercapacitor uh, the link will be in the description uh, So in basic what I did was I put two graffiti column foams uh, into some salt water and when I charge this supercapacitor on the positive side will create some chlorine which is in some yellow greenish color uh, and I get really really good uh, performance out from this salt water supercapacitor and then I was thinking what if can make some battery some zinc chlorine battery now I will charge this battery and when the battery will be almost full uh, I will connect to my electronic load to see what I will get out from it Okay, I will disconnect from my power supply uh, I still have 60 uh, milliamps But anyway, I will discharge this battery now So the voltage drops to 1.7 Volts. Uh, so guys, that's it. Uh, the battery is empty, and I get the runtime over two hours, and the capacity of 104 milliamp hours, and the energy is uh, 115 milliwatt hours. And now I will make some housing for this chlorine zinc based battery. The material for the housing will be some plexiglass like I have here. So here I make uh, some housing for some another battery type. And also here. But these two 
are for some other uh, battery types like I said so here I have my plans uh, to make this housing for this cell so in my plan uh, are three middle plates and one uh, end plate but I will make only two middle plates two middle plates and one end plate the another side the end plate is made from zinc here's my plexi uh, but first I need to do some measurements so the housing of this cell will be in dimension of 6 by 6 centimeters this is the outside dimension and the inner dimension will be uh, yeah 3 by 3 centimeters so the active surface in this cell will be uh, 3 centimeters by 3 centimeters I cut all pieces what I need so one uh, end plate and two middle plates uh, now what I need to do is I need to make some holes for the screws And now I will cut the another end plate, which is the negative plate. So in basic, this one is the zinc. And now I need to cut uh, the positive current collector, which is made from uh, grab foil. So the cell is almost finished. Now I need to cut some uh, carbon fiber for the active surface. Here I have some graffiti carbon fiber. Now 
I need to cut the separator and the cell is almost finished. For the separator I will use this cell guard. Here I have also some kitchen paper. Which I will cut in the dimensions of uh, of the dimensions of this. Now I have everything what I need to make this uh, battery. So this is the positive side. Uh, I make this housing from Plexi. So uh, the dimensions outside are six by six centimeters and inside are three by three centimeters. The current collector is uh, made from graphol and the active surface uh, material is made from graffiti carbon foam so I use two graffiti carbon foams because between these two graffiti carbon foams I will add I mean you can add some uh, activated carbon between uh, but if you don't use any activated carbon you will you will be also fine so, like I said, this is the positive, uh, the positive side. The separator, the separator is made from uh, Cellguard 3400, and also this tiny separator is made from kitchen uh, paper. And the negative electrode is made from zinc. Here I have uh, the electrolyte which I will use in this battery. So the electrolyte is made from one mole of uh, zinc chloride and half of mole of uh, sodium chloride. I forget uh, this to say if you make the cell like this uh, it's good if the each the each compound uh, seal it with some sealant so like I do here I seal these uh, plates with some sealant but right now in my case um, I will soak the entire uh, the entire cell into uh, the electrolyte so I will not seal everything And between I will add a little bit of activated carbon. So in basic, you can fill the entire graffiti carbon fiber uh, with activated carbon. But right now I will do 
like this. So why I use this uh, kitchen paper is because uh, if I use only this uh, cell guard then uh, the penetration of dendrites will be much faster because the distance between the cathode and the anode is really really short. So I increase, um, how to say, I increase uh the distance between between uh, the anode and the cathode uh, that the zinc dendrites need uh, a little bit more time to get from the negative to positive electrode. The cell is ready and now I need to test it. Also really important stuff is when you make uh, this cell with this housing and everything you need to be sure that uh, the contacts between the positive side and the negative side will be really really good. That's why you need to put uh, some of the carbon foam a little bit out from the housing. So, if this is your housing, so this is the end plate, this is the middle plate, uh, on this side you have this positive current collector which is made from, uh, made from graf uh, graphol and in this housing you have these uh, carbon foams. But you need to be sure that this carbon foam, which is inside the housing, is a little bit out from the housing. Because when you add some separator and also some uh, negative electrode, uh, you will create a really good contact between uh, the positive, uh, the positive side and the negative side. So you have also the separator and the negative electrode and if the carbon foam is a little bit out from the housing and when you press uh, the negative electrode together uh, you, you will create here a really good contact between the positive side and the negative side. That's it for now and we see us in the next video. Bye.